Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Boozer here. Thanks for stopping by. Since we have a guaranteed Shamail event today, um, I wanted to make an updated guide for Shamail if you guys are interested in picking them up for Hydra Duty. So I want to go over some new builds that I've kind of been using, kind of not, but it might give you guys some ideas on what you guys want to do with your Shamails if you guys so choose to go for him. So let's jump right into it. So first of all, we are on the test server today. So thank you, Plarium, for allowing us test server access. Let's talk about Shamail a little bit here since this is going to be a proper showcase for him, at least talking about the builds that I want to put him in and give you guys some ideas on. So here is Inquisitor Shamail. He is a Void Epic Champion. His base stats aren't super impressive in terms of attack, HP, decent speed, and has the uh, sorry boosted uh, crit damage for an Epic. His A1 here has a chance to decrease the duration of a random buff. This requires accuracy and usually not what Shamail is used for, but if he does have some residual accuracy, it's not too bad to have against Hydras. The big thing here is this conditional ability when a enemy places a debuff on an ally, you will counterattack and deal 50% of the normal dam damage with this A1. So this skill actually can work against, for example, like Fire Knight, for example. So if the Fire Knight places debuffs against you, you can actually use these counter attacks to bring down the shield for example so it's actually a pretty decent a1 a lot of books going into it but some damage into uh into this skill as well which is pretty good uh his a2 is kind of like his big money maker damage dealing skill he gets 35 percent from books which is pretty significant actually and he gains 25 percent uh ignore defense right out of the bat it's a triple hit ignore 25 percent uh enemies defense by 25 percent uh ignore defense for each buff on this champion so you only need three buffs on this champion until the shamail starts doing true damage 100 percent ignore damage which is pretty significant and kind of makes sense since his overall attack stat is quite low it, it kind of bring it in line because this skill is quite crazy and then of course you bring a little bit of crowd control if you kill an enemy and then true fear pop off it's pretty cool it's kind of good in some wave content as well so if you want to use him uh, to snipe down one target uh, champion you can definitely use this ability it's quite strong his passive is where he is most uh, talked about and used for the head of torment for hydra so basically each crit fills this champion's turn meter by 7.5 percent whenever an ally receives fear or true fear that debuff is instantly re removed and the turn uh the team leader turn meter is increased by 15 percent so shamail versus the head of torment he can instantly remove the fears instantly counter attack and then instantly trigger turn meter on the leader of your team providing either you uh you know providing you more damage providing you more survivability providing you more turns so shamail's very good at dealing with the head of torment and this is the main reason why he instantly removes the fear without any accuracy just from his passive alone and of course it's unconditional no turns necessary so it always happens so that makes shamail incredibly good doom tower accuracy and all doom tower which is kind of weird but uh he is actually pretty good in doom tower especially against some of the cp waves where you're looking to snipe down single target champions like i said this is a very very strong ability to kill one champion uh that's giving you a little bit of trouble but quickly let's jump into the builds that i have them in today and like i said hopefully these will give you guys some ideas on what to do with your shamails all right, first off, I have three Shamails built on this account. I don't necessarily use all of them at the same time or in the same rotation, for example, but um, they are super useful uh, whenever I need to, you know, make a team or try a team out. Um, I have them built in different ways and hopefully, yeah, you guys get some ideas. So first I have like a utility uh, Shamail. He's not really fully built out for damage, uh, but he does have uh, a bit of damage into his kit. So he has a little bit of uh, crit damage. He's crit capped. He can do a little bit of damage along the way. You don't necessarily need to build Shamail with ignore damage, ignore defense damage, because he most likely will get three buffs on him and then ignore 100% of uh, enemy defense with his A2. Um, so you don't necessarily need to build that into his, into his gear sets, for example. So for here, this is kind of like a utility flex build. I have him in a provoke set. He offers some extra provokes. Um, you can also put him in a hex set, also give you some extra hex. The problem with these sets is that he is a single target champion, so he doesn't necessarily uh, perform super, super well. But if you need a champion to fill out some of these slots uh, or some of these debuffs, 
on your team, Shamil can definitely do that for you. In this case, I do have him uh, set up with a uh, revenge piece, which gives you a 5% chance to counterattack when he gets hit. So, for example, if he gets hit by the uh, Head of Decay, he will counterattack and have a chance to provoke back or hex back. Otherwise, just give him some survivability, give him some damage stats. Like I said, not insanely built or anything, but he is built to survive. I do have some Hydra bonuses as well. So it gives them a little bit of oomph. You don't need resistance or accuracy for this type of build. You don't need him to be particularly fast either since he does offer a various utilities so he can deal with the Head of Torment. Given the, hex, uh, given the Hex or Provoke sets that he's in, you can definitely apply those debuffs as well. So just give him some extra stats to survive. He's not really here for damage, but he can chip in a little bit. Mastery is here. I do have him with damage masteries. I have him with a little bit of healing here just in case... Um, he requires some healing. Uh, otherwise, you can take the Heart of Glory as well. War Master works, uh, but I think Giant Slayer deals the most damage here. Uh, so you can definitely go down to Giant Slayer or War Master, but Giant Slayer works the best. The case for taking War Master is that War Master deals slightly less damage uh, in the event that you want to keep the Head of Torment alive for more turn meter boosting. So, for example, if you have a really strong leader and you want to keep the Head of Torment alive, then. You can definitely take War Master, which is a little bit less damage. Or you can do other builds as well. You can take Unshakable for resistance, but we'll go into that. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like a hybrid build, utility build. You can definitely build them with uh, these various sets. Moving on to the second build for my second Shemail. So this is my second Shemail. I have him in a Guardian set. So Guardian set provides some built-in healing, which is really good for Shemail. Um, I have him built out uh, with resistance as well. So... As resistance, you can definitely use him um, as a resistance tank. So this allows the head of mischief to target the head of uh, the uh, Shemail. And then Shemail will basically resist the mischief stealing any buffs. In order for you to build Shemail with um, the intention of using him for a mischief tank, you have to provide him with a blood shield accessory. Uh, so blood shield accessory gives him an extra buff. It gives him a very small shield whenever he deals damage. Shemail is very good for this because he consistently deals damage because of all the counterattacks and all that stuff he does. So he'll always have an extra shield, which means he has an extra buff relative to the rest of your team, which means he will most likely get targeted by the Head of Mischief. You want to give him enough resistance so that he can perform um, well in whatever difficulty you are using him in. I recommend 450 minimum for Nightmare and then dropping 50 um, per difficulty, so for Brutal 400. Um, and then 350 for hard. These are honestly minimum numbers because you're definitely looking for higher if you can swing it. You want him not particularly fast in this build because the faster you make him, uh, the faster he outruns his own buffs. You don't want him to outrun his buffs uh, relative to the rest of your team. So you want him to be the slowest uh, so that he has the most buffs and then gets targeted. I have him in guardian gear here. You can definitely use regeneration gear or even lifesteal gear. Uh, mainly because some healing is obviously very good for him. And then Guardian actually gives him um, a little bit of extra damage soaking ability. So he soaks up some damage from your team, helping to keep them alive. I do have him crit capped here and with some crit damage, but he's not going to be doing insane amounts of damage um, against Hydra, but he will pitch in a little bit. Phantom Touch here, again, for extra little bits of damage. But again, he's not going to be doing insane amounts for your team. Mastery is here, similar to the previous one, except this time I am taking Giant Slayer for some additional damage procs, and I'm not taking Rejuvenation in term, uh, instead I'm taking Heart of Glory because we are running a damage, uh, a damage soaking set that has healing. So with the healing, I'm taking less healing on the Masteries, I'm taking more damage instead. Uh, but overall, this is my second build. It's more of a resistance build, but I understand that some people like will struggle against the Head of Mischief. If you struggle against the Head of Mischief, you can definitely build Shamail with intention of using him as resistance. You don't give him any, uh, just don't give him any crit, uh, crit rate or crit damage. Uh, just build him in pure survivability and just use him strictly for, you know, dealing with the Head of Torment. I think that's what most people will probably do when they first get Shamail and they first start doing Hydra seriously. Just build him without the intention of doing too much damage. Um... If you have extra stats, then definitely build them out for uh, for damage. But focus on maybe just uh, resistance, and then you can definitely have them deal with the Head of Mischief easily. All right, so lastly, my third Shemail here. This is kind of like the updated version of uh, for uh, 
for today for 2024 i guess but merciless merciless gear is insanely good especially for shamail so merciless what it does is basically combines a damage set along with the reflex set so previously if you just put shamail in reflex you get a 40 percent chance of this happening on a four piece set but merciless includes a 30 percent chance which is not as good but it also includes some extra damage stats which is good for shamail so like I said, Shamel can pitch in some damage, especially on his A2 when it ignores 100% of the enemy defense. And then giving him a 30% chance to reduce the cooldown on his single ability is very good. So the more ch uh, chances you have to do his A2, he's going to be doing more damage. And you definitely benefit from damage stats here. In this case, I did pair him with a crit damage set, which gives him a little bit extra damage. Having the refresh accessory is also very good if you want to build him out uh, as well. So you can get some more A2s, so get some more, a damage, uh, more damage. If you want to go all out on him, you could go for a six-piece Merciless set. I think that might be worthwhile because that means your A1 would start doing uh, some ignore damage as well, uh, which probably means more damage overall. Total stats on this guy. Uh, again, not super insanely fast. Um, definitely build him up with more attack, more crit damage. You don't need him to be insanely fast because he's still here to help you against Torment, but he will be able to pitch in some extra damage. Um, and yeah, this... Masteries, same similar idea to the previous ones to deal some damage. Giant Slayer makes sense here. Um, we're taking Blast Proof, of course, for the AoE protection. Part of Glory for more damage when he's full health. Keep in mind, guys, that he probably needs some, obviously, an, a good team to go around him because he needs the buffs to go into his A2 to, so he can get full 100% ignore defense. He also needs uh, good support, basically, to heal him up um, or you know gives him leech or something like that just so he can heal up life drinker helps um but that only helps when he's under a uh, low threshold of hp so it's not you know super super consistent so having a good support team good healer or leech definitely helps up shamel here but yeah overall that's going to be it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed uh having a quick overview of shamel um i like i said i have three of them built i don't really use them all anymore but they do come into some teams especially if we want like a nice solid chill automatic um you know key shamel is very good at dealing with the head of torment and actually empowers your team as well it powers up the leader giving you more either more turns or more survivability or more damage um, so shamel is just a very good champion and unfortunately he's one of the easiest answers to deal with the head of torment especially early on he is an epic champion so he's just some very easy answer for the head of torment and too bad Plarium hasn't really thought of a way for more champions to be useful against the head of torment uh, but maybe in the future we'll we'll see something else but for now shamel is pretty goat against the head of uh torment in the hydra so if you guys are planning to go for him for any kind of guarantee uh i would say he's probably worth it if you want to take hydra a little bit more seriously um but yeah you guys are gonna have to weigh that out on your own account of course but anyways Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these builds and suggestions. Let me know how you guys have built Shamel uh, and what you guys use them for um, in the Hydra setting, of course. Um, would be interested to hear what you guys uh, have uh, built out for him. So anyways, guys, appreciate your time as always. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.